Philly's has always been a dancing city. Philly, we got our own two dances. We got the Wu-Tang, we got the D-Mac. <laughs> Back in the day, Philly, everybody had dance groups. It's one day everybody just stopped. People just stopped dancing. Philly got too cool. That's the hard pill to swallow. I might say violence stopped it. You know, Philly is a dark city, you know, so a lot of people make like pain music. What they going through, what they been through. It wasn't a lot of fun. Just bring the fun back, yeah. Have fun as much as you can. You only live once. Like that right there, baby girl. Oh damn, a whole lot of uh I'm a grown man like uh I'm a grown man shorty. I don't want who in shorty. I don't want real man shorty, tools the wheel stand, no tent shorty. I'm the young fella of Philly influential wise. I feel like I got one of the most unique sounds in the world. The way my delivery, my growl, my aggressiveness, my flow, my breathing techniques while I'm rapping. I'm giving you creativity and swag the whole way through. I started music when I was 14. His body be laid up in the trunk. I'm like, tell me who popped you. Tell me who rocked it. We all started. Oh, 60th and Master. My homie Tamir and Jasir, they both passed away. Long live them. This, this spot right here is like the first, first studio me and my homies went to, like 2014, before we even really decided to like go through with the dream. Listen, put that Mac to your head. D-Rex and you dead. Yeah, because the first one that blew up, I think I was in 10th grade. The track, that's the reason I'm here where I'm at today. It's right. called Whip Out the Pot. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gang boy. You saying RIP marriage. I pulled a sim made a lot. A ski to step whip out the pot. Remember it stepped out the pot. I pulled it back and made a lot. Remember the trap made a lot. I think I had like one video out and I was like getting some traction. I was like, oh, like damn, like these guys are like blowing up. He showed me a video of a high school like he popped out at. And it was like everyone knew the words of, of a song that wasn't even out yet. Positive vibe, man. We shot it right here. It's a famous spot right here. You never made Whip Out the Pot. We would have never got attention for Whip Out the Pot 2. Was never brought back at it. Was never brought this, don't diss me. You know what I'm saying? Brought all the attention and gained attention with me and my partner who passed away, Skiano, my brother. It was a duo, rap duo. Skiano, he passed away 2020. The whole city was hurt and was talking about the impact we had. Got a good lineup. Taylor, this is where we did a we did a lot. We did our first show here, our first sold out show. And, and this will show you what impact you got on the city. Make you break you. This will humble you though. That whole moment of us continuing music and blowing up all that from hood fame and parties. We call this the beach. So we do a whole concert right here on the porch. So we post on Instagram. We doing a free concert right here. The whole city, everybody came. <laughs> Me and Skate making music, it was like lightning in the bottle. Just two growling voices bouncing off each other. But it all came from respect and people were just respecting us and supporting our music and passing around to each hood and everybody listening to it. When I played the record, the response was crazy. I just knew they was different. When I came with the party, the club, I killed them with that. We can go to a lunchroom right now. I beat that on a uh, lunchroom table. All the kids gonna get up. We don't even got rap. So imagine having D4M Sloan on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is the hood. This is where everything went down at in the whole entire city. Like every year. It get worse every year. You lost like throughout these past years, you lost five homes. It's like, it's like a different vibe we are now. It ain't really the same as it used to be. Police say nearly 30 people have been shot in the city just this holiday weekend. Our culture, bro, we was forced to grow up at a young age. These kids that's 11, 12, nine is nine-year-old hitmen. There's nothing in Philly for these kids. They have no platform. They waking up with that pain on their heart. They can't go dance about it. They can't go play basketball about it. Just being out there, just a kid with a dream. On the block, 
They got a black cloud over it. We have Mans here in this one, old high school. Shoot me. Old high school, man. Get through the jump, we're right in the press wall. It's good. What's up, dog? How you? How are you? Don't worry about it. All the way over here, though. Things don't change. <laughs> a lot of stuff he say, they really living it. Like, I had to catch myself. I'm listening to the lyrics. I'm like, yo, this is really happening on his block. Block Linda, shots in the block bender. Pot whipper, block blicker, I bend ya. Block Linda, shots in the block bender. Pot whipper. Drake ain't really got no beef going on. Drake got a, six houses. Drake got girl problems. He talking about the problems he really got in the streets out here. It's the truth. I mean, I don't think nothing fake about it. It's a genuine realness coming from Philly. And, and that's, that's what separates us. Philly as a whole, there's just like, so much raw talent. I think pain, like, really, like, like pressure makes diamonds kind of thing. I mean, like, most of us in this room, the adults, we've never experienced losing a friend. I mean, or friends to, to gun violence. These dudes have, have lost multiple friends. I've never experienced that in my life. And for these men to experience that, that's, that's tough. He understands that, and that's what comes out in his music. Ah, all that shit, all that shit, all that shit, all that shit, ah. Outside of the dark cloud in the city, this is also a, a party city. Like we love partying, we love having fun. But once we started making Philly Club, that's when the Wu Tang dance really took off. The old Wu Tang is boxy, like Egypt stuff. That's that's real. That's the real. That's the best way I can explain. Club music. Doom, 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 doom. Club music is the heartbeat of the youth. It's the heartbeat of the club. When you hear that 808, you know it's on. It was born in Baltimore. Baltimore gave Philly the torch and gave Jersey the torch. My opinion is Philly sped it up and got it on the radio. Philly made it cool. Some Jersey club beats, they amazing by itself. You can be saying nothing at all. The beat is crazy, it's gonna have people dance regardless, whether you saying what they wanna hear or not. I'm the beat gotta keep up with me. Ski and Sloan hit me up, said we got a record we gonna do, it's gonna be crazy. You know, this super high energy from the jump. When I first heard the beat, I was like, why am I listening to a nursery rhyme? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, uh, gang, gang, huh, click with a stick, nigga, gang, 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 give it smoke, then the smoke, nigga, maintain, uh, five slide slide, nigga, bang, bang, uh, I'm trying to get it on, uh, get it out, get it on, we get it out, uh, uh. We did exactly what we said we was gonna do. We're gonna change the game with this one. And then we're going crazy. What Ski and, and, and Sloan did with it was something like never heard of, you know? It was a, a fresh take on, on something that everyone already knew. To the people from the city, I bring a whole lot of nostalgia and fun. Sloan and Ski, they brought that grittiness on club and still made it fun, you know what I mean? Over a baby shark record, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, they were really the first to really rap, like, over a club beat. But like Philly bring the whole genre to hip hop. Period. You, you see the whole industry hopping on it. Everybody. Too rare, you know, Laid Banks, D Sturdy, NLE Chopper, Drake. Everybody want a piece of it now. And um, you know, everybody's rapping over club music. You know, you gotta admit, Philly took it to the next level. Philly made it worldwide. When people ask me why I pushed this, I wanted to bring back club music because they gave me, at a young age, a platform to express myself. Imagine having D4M Sloan on it. That was my idea. It worked. Oh man, we gonna change the game with this one. Ah, oh my God. I really keep it real humble, but it's public information. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to say. It's public information. Me and Skiano inspired the whole city. Dancing opened up so many doors for us. I wanted that for the youth bad. I felt like that was the void. And what D4M did, they made Philly dance again. It just brought Philly Club back. I got gangsters dancing. Vibes, killers, dancing. Getting out their comfort zone to music. Had the DJs, 
you know, excited to play the record because it was, you know, we wasn't used to playing fun records. Everything was so serious and so boring. You know what I mean? They brought that fun back. Already the youth was back for real. In every hood bar I was DJing, everybody was Wu-Tang again. We got plenty of kids that rap. I think the kids see if he can do it, they can do it. You see your own on stage at the Wells Fargo Center, it puts a sense of, I can do it too. I'm living proof, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? I was out here every day. This is a positive way you can make legal money. I want my whole city to go, go far with this. It brings back so much, it brings back fun and music. Like the dancing, it bring back, bring back parties, it bring back everything. Like, it bring back something positive. Making it cool to dance again. Yeah.